Hello, my name is Peter Averich. I'm the president of PC Dynamics and chief architect of the Safehouse family of PC privacy and encryption products. In this short video, I'm going to give you a quick tour of our new Safehouse Explorer privacy software. Keep watching because at the end of this video, I'm going to give you a link where you can download this software for free. And not just trial software, I'm talking about the full live product. Safehouse Explorer is software for your Windows PC which is used to lock, hide, and protect your confidential files and folders from being accessed by anyone but you. We do this using passwords and strong encryption combined with a completely familiar look and feel. As you can see here in the screenshot, the program closely resembles Windows Explorer, only that you're required to enter your password before gaining access to any of the protected files. With Safehouse Explorer, you are in control. You decide which files and folders to protect, then just drag and drop them into an open Safehouse Explorer window, just like you do now with Windows Explorer. This works with any kind of file, including Microsoft Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, photos, videos, and pretty much any other kind of document you might have. You can protect files located on hard drives, memory sticks, file servers, DVDs, and anywhere else. Before I jump into the demo, let me first explain how the software works. You start by creating a data vault to hold your files. You pick the size, location, and secret password. You can create as many of these vaults as you like. They're just large container files. However, when you open them up in Safehouse Explorer using your password, they become new temporary disk drives in Windows. You can then drag and drop your confidential files into Safehouse Explorer or access the temporary disk drive letter from within your favorite Windows applications. This is what makes Safehouse Explorer so simple and convenient. Let's now look at the software. Here I've started Safehouse Explorer, but I haven't yet created or opened my secret data vault. You'll notice it looks a lot like Windows Explorer, but there's a few extra toolbar buttons to help you create, open, and close your special data vaults, which are more commonly known as volumes. We'll start by clicking the New Volume button to create our first empty file vault. This step doesn't affect any of your existing files. All we're doing here is creating an empty protected storage area. Your documents and files are not protected or encrypted until you personally drag and drop them into Safehouse Explorer. And I'll show you how to do that too right after we create our first volume. We need to tell Safehouse Explorer where to create this volume file. I'm going to accept the default location. Of course, you're free to change it. You can even create volume files directly on USB memory sticks. I'll click Next to move on to the screen where I get to choose the size of my private storage area. Here, I'll enter 100 for 100 megabytes. The maximum size is 2000 gigabytes. I'll also leave the box checked to fill my volume with random data. This makes it just that much harder for intruders to figure out what's going on, but it also makes the volume hard to compress. So if you're planning on emailing a volume to a friend as a compressed file attachment, you might want to leave this box unchecked. I'll click Next to move on to the page where I get to choose my password. Notice the strength meter. As I type my password, this bar will change from red to green as my password gets better and stronger. We're now ready to create the actual file. And since I want a desktop shortcut for my volume, I'll leave this box checked. Now I'll click the Create button. For volume this size, this will only take about 5 seconds to complete. And now we're done. I'll click Finish to close the wizard, and Safehouse Explorer asks me if I'd like to open the volume and start using it. Sure, let's go ahead and do that. We're now ready to start moving our confidential files into Safehouse Explorer, but before I do that, I want to point out that we have a temporary Windows Drive letter assigned to this open volume. Here, it happens to be Drive F, and if I pop over to Windows Explorer, I'll see that the Safehouse F drive shows up there as well. This virtual drive letter is what makes Safehouse Explorer seamlessly compatible with popular Windows applications such as Microsoft Office. This drive letter goes away when you close Safehouse Explorer. Okay, let's move some files into our private volume. Here, you see a wider view of my desktop, and of course, there's the shortcut icon for the new volume I just created. I'll start by moving this Word doc into Safehouse Explorer. All I need to do is drag it over and select Move. 
We've also got a folder with some additional confidential files to move into Safehouse Explorer. If I open it up in Windows Explorer, I can see that I've got an assortment of files and subfolders. I'm going to select all of them and once again drag them over. But this time, instead of clicking Move, I'm going to choose Secure Move. This instructs Safehouse Explorer to permanently destroy the original files once the move is complete. It does this by overriding them with random data before telling Windows to delete them. As you might be aware, when you normally delete files in Windows, they're not truly erased. And in fact, you can easily get them back from the recycle bin or by using any number of commercial file recovery products. With Safehouse Explorer, you now have the option to obliterate old files and foil any attempts to recover them. I'll now click around on some of these items just to show you that everything works exactly as you'd expect. You can also personalize how the files are displayed by selecting from several available icon views. We're now just about done, but I'd like to show you just a couple more things. Now that we've moved our sensitive files into Safehouse Explorer, I want to close the volume so nobody else can get at them. I do this by clicking the Close Volume button. The files are now locked up tight and completely secure. But wait, I wanted to show you how seamlessly Safehouse Explorer works with Microsoft Word. That's easy enough. All I need to do is open the volume back up using my password. Safehouse Explorer provides a number of ways to select volumes to open. I'll take a quick approach now and select the volume from the recent file list. And now I'm asked to enter my password. I type that in. And there's my files. I'll right click on this letter to Stephen. Click Open and up pops Microsoft Word, exactly as it does with Windows Explorer. I don't need to make any changes here, so I'll click Close to exit Word, and then I'll close the volume as well. Now I've got one last thing to show you before I give out that link to the free Safehouse Explorer download, Memory Sticks. Safehouse Explorer was born from Memory Sticks and Portable Media. This entire program resides in a single, small, 5 megabyte executable file which can be run directly from memory sticks without being installed onto PCs. This means that you can copy your Safehouse volumes to a memory stick along with a copy of the Safehouse Explorer EXE file and you'll have everything you need to access your protected files from nearly any computer you walk up to, even when you don't have administrator rights or permission to install new software. And that's exactly what I've got here. The drive on the right is my memory stick. You'll see it has two files, the Safehouse Explorer EXE file and a copy of the same volume file I've been using throughout this video. I can double click to launch the program. And now I can open my volume. This time I'll click the Open Volume button. Select my volume file and enter my password. And there we are. And of course, everything else works exactly as I've already demonstrated. So I'll just exit now, which automatically closes my open volume. Well, that's pretty much it for my presentation. And as promised, here's the link for the free Safehouse Explorer download. This is a live link which you can click now with your mouse, or you can come back later and type it into your browser. One final note, Safehouse Explorer is just one of several products in our award-winning family of privacy and protection products. We have numerous other videos and free downloads here at safehousesoftware.com, and I encourage you to view some of our additional videos and try out some of our other products. Thank you for watching. I'm Peter Averich.